All right, so I'm late to the party here on this whole core essentials and the ratcheting system on the belts. Uh, I stumbled across this belt by accident. I was looking for a solution for holster carry, which that'll be in my next video. We'll get into that in the next one. But I stumbled across this, across this belt, and I started looking into it, started watching some videos on it, and I'm like, wow, this looks really interesting. How come I never seen this before? Because I've been wearing my blue alpha gear belt for over eight years. I've been perfectly happy, so I really wasn't searching for a belt. I did all that years ago. Went through multiple belts, settled on the Blue Alpha Gear. Great, uh, Kurt's great over there. It's an American-owned company, veteran-operated, and uh, been happy with that belt. But again, when I seen this, I said, I got to give it a shot. So I ordered this belt, been running it for a month and a half. It's nothing short of a miracle and miraculous for the adjustability. You have quarter-inch clicks. You could tailor this thing to just fit you absolutely perfectly, where other belts can't do that. This belt, if you need to let it out a little, you just... Push the lever, you can let it out a click or two, or bring it in a click or two. You just, your pants will not move, your firearm will not move, just fantastic. So I ordered one, got it, like I said, been running a month and a half. Uh, they were nice enough, Core Essentials was nice enough to send me one, so we got one for review, but it doesn't sway my opinion one way or the other. I always give you guys my honest opinion. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, put this thing together, so we're going to hop down the bench, we're going to unbox it, and we're going to talk about it. All right, so before we hop down the bench, I do have another piece of gear that I want to review. It's going to be the next video, but it goes hand in hand with this belt. So in the next video, you'll see this belt on body, and I'll be showing off that new thing that I'm going to do a review on. So stay tuned for that for the on body portion. This is going to be pretty much an unboxing and how to put the belt together. So we're going to hop down and we're going to put this thing together. Okay, so here we are with the Core Essential Belts. I say belts in plural because I bought one of these with my own money because I've been running it for over a month and I believe in this product. Core Essentials did send me this one for purpose of review, but I always give you guys my honest opinions and thoughts on things and I would not buy it if I didn't stand behind it. So we're going to unbox this and we're going to get into it. Okay, first things first, let's just open up the one that I've already been running. I bought this one in the multicam and this one has the X7 buckle, which I like this buckle, it has a kind of honeycomb pattern. Been running this belt now for probably a month and a half. Fantastic belt. So this is the multicam. And we're not going to go over all the stuff that came with this one because this was just a belt setup. This one that Core Essentials sent me comes with a few extras, and we're going to go over that in a second. Let me take this keeper out, take a piece of this material out, and we'll get this first box out of the way. All right, so I wanted the black multicam version. That's the one that Core Essentials sent me over. So I have the black multicam here, and we're going to get into this one. This one has a few more things and features than the original one I purchased. But I would highly suggest that you guys head over to their website because they just have so much stuff here. Scan this QR code. Well, I'm obviously going to leave a, a link in the description down below, but head over there because there's so many different buckles and belts that you can choose from. If you want to wear a dress buckle and a dress belt, you can do that. Everything is interchangeable, which is nice about this system. And we're going to talk about that. They sent out this nice hanger. This is a, a nice hanger that can hang all three. You can hang three belts or three spare buckles on here. It holds the Allen wrench to install the buckle and it holds your keepers. So I have the black keeper here for the multicam. And we'll open up the bag for my keeper that came with my traditional multicam. And we'll slide that on here. This way here, you don't lose any of your keepers. I don't run these because I cut the belt to my size. So... But this is nice that you can have your keepers on here, your Allen wrench, and you can store three belts. So they sent that out. Uh, some paperwork. We'll get that out of the way. Here's the gear guide. All different kinds of gears. They sell hats, watch bands, wallets, T-shirts, watches. Here's some of the buckles that you can see here, the different patterns they have and, and the different buckles. There's just unlimited combinations you can do here. Just a ton of stuff. So I highly suggest you head over. I'm also going to leave a coupon code. Here on the screen and in the description below, Yankee Cowboy 10, you want to get 10% off on these. Uh, I'm not making any money. I'm not doing this to make money. This belt is fantastic. And, you know, I'm kind of sorry I stumbled upon this late, but I'm glad I did stumble upon it because fantastic system. I've been running this uh, multicam one for, like I said, a little over a month and a half, and it's been great. Okay, so this one has their, this is the X7. I think the one that I have is the X5 or 6. I get confused. But all that X number means is the style of the buckle. This is the X7. This is the most compact for concealed carry. So this is the buckle they sent me with that. You get your Allen wrench and you get your set screws in here to install this belt, which we're going to show you guys how to do that in a second. So let's open this up quick. I'm going to take this plastic off. This one is in the black multicam. 
and this is licensed multicam, so this isn't any, uh, you know, knockoff multicam. It's hard to see on here, but it says multicam right there. Let me show you on my, on the original multicam one. You can see right there that it says multicam right there. So this is licensed multicam. They're not, they're not using any generic patterns. This is all official stuff. You also get this, which is nice. This is an optional item. This is a, a cover that slides over the belt. So when you're putting your holster on, if you don't want to mar the belt up, they give you this nice sleeve, which is a nice, nice touch. And this is built uh, really well. It feels like a, a nice ballistic nylon. So if you don't want to mar up your belt, that's one way to do it. All right, so let's get the box out of the way, and we're going to get to the install of the buckle, which is pretty neat. It's not super hard. On the back side of these belts, you're going to see numbers. This is going to go from 24 inch all the way up to 54 inches. There's all number graduations there, and there's a line. So if you can see that on there, you cut across where you're, you pick your waist size and add about six inches. Uh, your mileage may vary. I had to cut mine a little shorter. You know, they just, you know, it's better to cut a little long and then go back and trim an inch off than to cut it too short because, you know, once you cut too much off, you can't put it back on. So I know what my waist length is and, and how much to add on to mine. So we're going to chop mine right at about 45. I got a big old waist guy. So we're going to chop this at 45. Now, one of the things that I've seen on other videos, you see people cut these with a traditional scissors. And, you know, I was a little skeptical at first. I'm like, well, how good is this belt if you're going to cut it with a regular scissors? And, you know, it, it, it's not, guys. This thing is pretty hard to cut. So what I'm using, I tried it with a regular scissors and I couldn't do it. So I have a Leatherman Raptor scissors. This thing will cut through rings and everything else. So I'm going to use this to cut it. But before we get into that, let's show you the, this is the heart of the system here is the ratcheting portion. This is sewn in here very nicely, made out of a, it's a, it's like a Delrin material in here. It's the same kind that's in the core. It's a really heavy duty plastic and I don't have any issues with mine. I've been changing it in all different directions and different tightnesses and just been fantastic. So I don't see any issues with this and core will stand behind it if you do have an issue. But I don't foresee anybody having any issues with this. And like I said, core will stand behind it. So just, uh, just a fantastic design here with this ratcheting system for limitless possibilities of adjustment. And we'll talk about that once we get the belt actually cut and fitted here. So again, we're going to come over to about 45 and try and cut it as straight as you can, but you don't have to be perfectly straight because once it goes inside the buckle, you're not really going to see it anyway, but I mean, just try and do your best to cut it. So right at 45, I'm going to take my Leatherman Raptor scissors here. Now with this, you go nice and easy and just, walk across and you'll cut it snip and that's a done deal and you know i had to use some force to that this thing is is not as easily cut as you may think and then what i usually do is i'll take a lighter i don't have one down here on me but i take a lighter and burnish the end with a lighter and then we'll get the buckle installed so let's get the buckle ready and how you're going to do that is is you're going to take your little allen wrench that they provide and you get spare screws here so in case you have other buckles you want to use you can do that. But before we can do that, guys, here's the, uh, let me show you. If you have spare buckles, this is what this is for. Hang both your belts on here so you can hang up the three belts. All right, so let's get back to the install here. Underneath on this side, this is a latch here. You're going to flip this latch up. It's got teeth on it. And then you have your set screws. So the first thing you want to do is back out your set screws so the belt will go in. So I'm going to loosen these up. Okay, those are backed out. Now we're going to take the buckle the belt, I'm sorry, and put the buckle over it and just slide it all the way in. Say, so, yeah, I'm not getting all the way in there. I got to lift up on this a little more on the screws. This screw is hitting right here. So, get it all the way backed out. And then just slide that in until it bottoms out. Okay, so I'm touching there. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip the latch. And those teeth are going to bite in. That thing isn't going anywhere with that, but these set screws are just an extra level of uh, protection for you for your buckle but again i really don't think you you even need them but it's nice that they put these i mean this is the little things that core thought of that other belt companies don't think of and you just want to get these snug you don't want to jack these down tight just so they're flush and that's it now the buckle is installed so now how the magic happens on this belt with this ratcheting system is you slide this in Hear that ratcheting? Every little click is a is a nice 
little minute adjustment. So every time you want to adjust the belt, you just give it a little or you lift up on the lever here and you could just let it out. If you need to let out a little bit, lift up on the lever, you can adjust it. That simple. Here's the lever right here. You'll lift up on it and you can pull it out. You need to cinch it up. Just give it a little more. If not, you had a big lunch. You can let it out. Just a fantastic system. And this is the most minimal buckle they have right now. This is the X7. Okay, so now let's get into some of the features that I think some other people left out in their videos. I watched a lot of videos on this before I even purchased this. Um, first off, it's an American-made product. This belt is an American version. They do have another another version. Just make sure when you order, you get the American version. These are made with better materials, and uh, we're going to talk about the materials right now. Like I said, when you cut through this, I need to use my Leatherman uh, Raptor. This is what EMS uses to cut rings off and clothing and everything else. This belt is built built very well. A lot of people portray this as a three three layer. I don't know. To my eyes, I see four here. You got a back layer. You got a thick leather layer. You have that Delrin plastic in there, which is the core. It makes this the core essential, give you that rigidity. Then you have your top layer. So there's four layers of protection here. I mean, this thing is rock solid. You couldn't bend it this way if you wanted to. You can stand on this thing. You could probably run it over with a car or a truck. And this thing isn't going anywhere. This is four layers of material here. Fantastic. I mean, look at the rigidity of this belt. It doesn't go anywhere. And I believe this one here will carry up to eight pounds. But, I mean, I'd be willing to bet you could hang probably 20 pounds off this and you would not bend this thing because of the core inside of this belt. And that's what makes this the core essentials. You got that piece of Delrin in there, that nice piece of uh, leather. This is American cowhide leather. Just fantastic rigidity on that. And this belt, I can't say enough for the rigidity of it and how this thing feels, the fit and finish of it. And just the adjustability of this with this ratcheting system, it, I, can't, I can't believe I, I overlooked this belt for so many years. I was running the Blue Alpha Gear. Uh, no offense to Kurt over at Blue Alpha Gear, another veteran-owned company, American-made. I've been running that belt for years, loved it. But now that I have this Core Essentials, I don't see myself using anything else. Just because this ratcheting system, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, after you have something to eat, you know, you let out a burp or two and you, you just freed up another inch in your pants. And all you got to do is give it... A click or two and you're nice and tight my pants don't fall down anymore the gun stays securely in place just fantastic i cannot say enough about how great this belt is and how well this thing carries now let's get my original core belt that i've been running for a long time this one has the x6 buckle on it so we'll move the that one out of the way this is the x6 with that honeycomb pattern and this belt like i said i've been running for a little over a month and a half just fantastic. I mean, the way the gun carries when you're wearing this on, on your persons is just incredible. It's just an outstanding belt. I cannot say enough about it, guys, again. And how this whole fastening system works, you know, you lift that lever, you lock down your two Allen screws, you can swap these buckles off if you want to put something else on it. Ton of options. There's, there's a ton of belt buckles and belts on their site. Just a great, great belt. And I have an accessory in my next video, guys, so stay tuned for that. That pairs very well with this belt, so stay tuned for that. But getting back to the core essential belt here, I mean, just, just the rigidity of this, of this thing and the adjustability of it, every little click is a quarter of an inch, every click. So it's just, you could just really tailor this thing to how it fits and feels on, on your person. And you don't get that with any other belt. You just lift this little lever, slide it out, give it a little more if you need it, lift the lever, slide it out. I mean, it just, it works so easily and flawlessly. And this ratcheting system that they have in here has been great. I have seen no wear on it in a month and a half. I've been checking it all the time. It does not pop loose. It locks in behind. There's two teeth here per, and this clip locks in between both of those teeth. So this thing isn't going anywhere. It's it's stitched in here very well in between the leather and the, and the core. So I don't see anything happening with that. And like I said, if, if it does, core stands behind their stuff 100%. So no issues there. I don't foresee any problems with this belt. Nice powder coating on the buckle. Just like again, I mean, it's I I'm blown away with this thing, and I thought my blue alpha gear belt was was it. You know, I, I've searched high and low since carrying. I've gone through you know quite a few different belts, and the blue alpha gear I've been running for the past probably eight years. That's why I haven't looked at any other belts. And then when I found this and actually tried it, I was like, wow, fantastic! Just this quarter inch adjustability is, is key. I can't say enough about that on the core essential belt. Okay, so also a lot of other people got this thing wrong. You know, when they got the hanger, they realized that this was for the buckles. Nobody knew what this portion was for. Again, this is for your keepers. Um, like I said, I don't run the keepers, but 
it's nice that there's a spot to put them. The Allen wrench has a nice spot. I don't think some of the people even realize what that was for. But again, so your keepers will just store on here. Your Allen wrench in case you want to change buckles. And now I have, I have two belts here. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo these quickly. And now I've got one, two. Here's both of my core essential belts on the hanger. My keepers are on there. So this, I got a nice spot to store these and I got room for one more belt, which I will definitely be buying another belt because like I said, these belts are fantastic. All right, so we'll get these off of the hanger and we'll get it out of the way. Just pull up on the lever. Nice and easy, comes right off. Here's your hanger. You can store this in your closet. Keep all your belts organized. All right, so without repeating myself to death and sounding like a broken record, this belt is just fantastic. You got to get your hands on one yourself, especially if you carry a firearm, but even if you don't. This ratcheting system with these quarter inch adjustments, each little click is a quarter inch. It can't be beat. This lever, you push it, you pull it towards you, and you can just move the belt in or out. You need to let it out a little. You had a big meal. Just push the button and pull out. You can get some room. You want to tighten up? No problem. Just fantastic system here with that ratcheting system. There's nothing else like it on the market with that ratcheting system. That is, bar none, makes this thing the most special belt out there. So... That's pretty much it for this, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to hop off for final thoughts, but in the next video, I got the perfect accessory to go with this, and I'll show you guys what this belt looks like on body and how to adjust it and all that in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to hop off for some final thoughts. All right, so that was a look at the Core Essentials belt. I think these belts are just fantastic, guys. I really think you guys should try them out. You will not be sorry. You will never go back to any other belt again. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this video. You guys got any questions or comments, leave them down below. Slap a like on the video. It helps me out, and we'll see you guys in the next one.